constructor racket here. Sometimes values in a list are disordered. This is especially obvious if we squash them side by side. It would be nice to be able to tidy them up a bit by sorting them. So we'll write a quick sort function. This particular one uses an ordering called first blue less that I'm not going to tell you about right now. In general, how do we sort? Well, the first thing we have to be able to do is to split a list at a certain index. So we want to split, say, this list of four elements at index 0, the 4, using the ordering greater than. How do we do that? Well, here's the definition. We replace the parameters by the values, the list, 0 and greater than. Here's a local definition. It's only available when we actually call the function. It defines a local predicate which is going to be true if a number is greater than 4. It also defines a sublist, which is the list when we remove that initial 4. And here's the work that the function does. It produces three sublists. One which are the elements that are greater than 4, another which is 4 itself, and then the third sublist is just the elements after you remove the initial 4 which are not greater than 4. Let's do this by hand. Here's our three sublists. The first one, well, from the elements other than 4, we find the ones that are greater than 4. There's only one of those, the 5. The middle one, that's that element 4 itself. And then the last one, from the elements other than 4, we find the ones that are not greater than 4. Well, that's 1 and 4. What does this have to do with quicksort? Well, if we quicksort a single element list using the ordering greater than, what happens? Here's the definition. As usual, we replace all the L's by our list, 17, and ORed by greater than. We have a local definition of a version of quicksort, but it turns out that we don't even use that because since our list is of length less than 2, it's already sorted, so we just get the same list back. Let's sort a slightly longer list, the list 1713, and we'll sort it by less than, so it comes out in the other order. Here's our definition, and we define a local quicksort called QS that can remember that the ordering is less than. The list is not of length less than 2, so we have to use the else branch, which says apply append to what we get when we map QS over the list produced by, well, it's produced by this split at by, our original list, index 0, ordering less than. Well, that's going to re reduce three sublists. The first sublists are the elements that are less than 17, just 13. Second one is the element 17 itself. And the third one is after we remove 17, which elements are not less than 17? Well, there's none of those. Now, mapping QS is the same as if we QS each of those lists individually. Well, they're all ready sorted. So we just get back those three lists appended. Let's quick sort a slightly longer list to see that this works in general. So this five element list quick sorted by less than. There's what happens, but how does it happen? Well, we're going to have to use the else branch, apply append, oops, get rid of those enclosing parentheses, to map QS over the list we get from split at by, which is the those three sublists. The first sublist is going to be the elements which are less than 17. 13 and 10. The next one is just 17, and the last one are the elements after we remove 17 that are not less than 17, 67 and 92. We can simplify that. If we map QS over those lists, it's just going to be as if we had QS of each of those lists. Well, the first list, after we quick sort it, changes its order. Second one doesn't change, and the third one's already sorted. So that is how we implement quicksort.